Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup, I don't really want to call it a makeup tutorial because I'm not, I'm not good enough to call it that. So I'm just going to say this is how I do my kind of going out makeup. Uh, using the morph palette so I've gone for a kind of purpley kind of bronzy look today sorry it's not very professional I don't use any brushes or anything like that quite a lot of stuff I use is high street makeup um, so basically it's just going to show you what look you can achieve using like affordable products that you can get on the high street and also explain what I use on my face so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Right, so I've done all my face. It's time for the eyes. So I'm gonna start off using the Morph palette. But this is my one of my favorite palettes. It's 350. And I love this palette because it's, it's a very me palette because it's got lots of oranges and browns. And I'll show you what I use as I go. So I'm gonna start off using this very light, creamy shade. And I'm going to be using that on the inner of my eyes. And I just blend that in. I hope no one takes offence to my nails either. Sorry. Basically I do this to kind of brighten my eyes up. My eyes are quite small, I've noticed. So I need to make them look a bit bigger. Alright, so next I'm just going to go for a slightly darker colour here. It's kind of like a light brown colour. I'm just going to do that all over my eyelid. I really like the look of this colour here, this kind of taupe looking, kind of brown, slightly purpley colour. Oh yeah, I really like that. So I'm going to use that on the outer and centre. Bear with me, I know it looks messy. Next I'm going to go for this quite dark brown colour here and I'm going to use that on my crease. This is actually my eyebrow brush, but I'm going to use it for this because it's easier to go on the crease. And then blend it in. And kind of move it further up. This is just how I do my makeup. I mean, I know it's not how anyone else does this. So now I'm going to get an even darker colour. I'm going to get this purpley colour here. And put that on the, on the corner as well. And this is where I'm going to start using the Revolution Mono Eyeshadow in Insomnia. And it's this really nice deep purple colour. And I'm going to bring that into the middle of the eye. So going back to that taupey colour, I'm going to bring that down underneath. So I add that to the corner and bring it round. I really do like to make it really dark on the corner. So I actually add, I'll actually be using a little bit of black to really make it stand out. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to this light color here, this light brown, and this is just to blend everything together, to have a little bit. And I just kind of softly blend everything together. So, another way of enhancing your eyes is to put a lighter colour in the centre of your eyes. So I'm just going to choose this little sparkly one here, so it's light and it's got a bit of shimmer on it. And then I'm going to add a bit more of that Revolution purple on the bottom as well. I think blending is very important when you're putting eyeshadow on so it doesn't look sharp. So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go on to my liquid liner and I'm using the Maybelline New York Master Ink. I'm just going to move my hair out of the way in case this goes wrong because whoa it can do but I start with the flick so I, I kind of pull my eye up like that and do a line from the corner just a line like that 
And after that, I kind of use that line as a guide. And from the end of the flick, I... Sorry, I couldn't talk what I did that, but I kind of bring it to the middle. And then fill it in. And then sometimes this doesn't look very good, so I kind of add to that. I tend to kind of make it bigger as I go. And then I do the same on the other side. Okay, so I'm actually a lot more pleased with this side, but I suppose they look fairly symmetrical, so luckily it didn't go so bad. Then I'm just gonna use this eye like, um, the crayon just fell out, I sharpened it, just fell out. I just love it when that happens. So I'm just gonna use this eyeliner, to be honest, I'm not actually sure where it's from, but it says Col, but it says Col on it. Basically any eyeliner will do, as long as it's kind of good. So obviously you need eyeliner with this look. So I'll bring it down a little bit there. Right, so that's that done. So moving on to mascara. So this mascara is amazing. My sister got us all a Estee Lauder gift set for Christmas and this was in it. And it's the Sumpt Sumptuous Extreme Lash Multiplying Volume Mascara. Looks like this. And it's amazing. I'm not, I don't usually go for this kind of wand. I usually go for a comb wand. Um, and this is quite long, longer than usual, but I'm actually really enjoying it. Just, um, I've got really short lashes and this makes my lashes look really long. So I'll just show you what this does to my short little eyelashes. I hope you can't hear my tummy rumbling. It's really rumbly. I bet I look really sexy right now. Right, so that's my mascara done. Love it. You don't need much of it at all for it to look really good, even with my little short ones. Am I the only person who does this with their eyelashes? So instead of eyelash curlers, I literally just push them up for a few seconds and they immediately look way longer. Just a little beauty hack. I'd be interested to know if anyone actually does that, if it's just me being a weirdo. I find it really helps. Why use a eyelash curler if you can just use your fingers? Yeah, so I think I'm done. I'm sorry, it's not a very professional way of doing your eyes. That's just how I do it. Probably need to invest in some good brushes, but I do trust my fingers to do a good job. That sounded really weird. So, yeah. I don't normally tend to wear this much makeup, but when I do, I love it. I actually love wearing loads of makeup. It just makes you feel good about yourself, doesn't it? So if you're interested in what I used on my face before the eyes, then carry on watching. So on my face, I use these two foundations. I use Dream Satin Liquid, which is really nice, dewy, foundation and the healthy mix bourgeois so this one's really dark i usually just take this on holiday with me and this is my like day to day make um, foundation so i use them together because i am a little bit tanned from holiday still so i didn't want to look too pale with this one so i added these two together and they actually work really nicely together for my blusher i use the rimmel natural bronze in 022 sun bronze and it's the one with the sun on it and I love it it's a really nice color I think it's and it goes on really nice and soft big fan of that one and it's cheap as well this is a new favorite I've just bought this recently and I absolutely love it so it's got a highlight illuminator a contour sculptor and a blush colorer so I use all three of these today and every day actually I use this. I think it's the perfect little palette and it fits in your makeup bag perfectly. So the highlighter is wonderful. I really, really like this highlighter. Perfect kind of colour. So I've used that on my nose, for my highlighter there. Sometimes, I haven't actually done that today because sometimes it looks a bit like sweat. And sometimes I use it in my corner as well. To add a bit more brightness. This I use to contour my cheeks, contour my nose, 
and this is literally my favorite thing because i can use it for everything i also used it on my eyebrows so perfect color for my eyebrows and i just use this eyebrow brush it's kind of angular angle brush um you use that on my eyebrows and it's perfect i also use it to add a few freckles onto my nose don't know if you can tell but i've got a few freckles there anyway but i've actually added a few on just kind of gone over them with that color because i really like freckly noses i don't know why but i get them there anyway after holiday so i kind of just top them up so it looks like i've just been on holiday so this is like a three in one like eyebrows you can also use it for eyeshadow contour and freckles i mean how good's that and this is a really nice uh blush the only thing i would say it's a bit shimmery so if you're not really into shimmery blushes it's not for you but i didn't think i'd really like it but i do i mean it adds it kind of adds a bit to the highlight because it's quite shimmery but it's a really nice soft pink colour which I do enjoy but I do normally tend to steer clear from the shimmery ones I'm not sure why because I'm really liking this one but that's really good I also use this Match Perfection Concealer just under my eyes so I kind of go for the lightest ever option just so you don't look knackered to start with I use the Spice Lip Pencil by MAC, favourite ever lip liner, I love it. Basically I just love orangey, I love orangey makeup. So yeah, I use that just around the outside of my lips. And then this is my favourite lipstick ever. It's Marvelous Mocha and it's by Avon. It's amazing, it's just, uh, just the perfect, um, brown matte colour that goes so well with my liner and it stays on for ages I literally love the colour I love the smell I love the texture and it's like really cheap I love Avon and these are literally my favourite lipstick I think I've ever had this mocha one favourite favourite so I think I've mentioned everything I've used I'm just gonna I think I'm gonna take my hair down just to because I need to ask an opinion anyway about my hair it looks horrible, sorry, this is just like natural hair. So, do I cut my hair shorter so it's above the shoulders, keep it like this, or grow it long? Now please comment below what you think I should do and if you think I should go darker, uh, darker brown, because I'm, I'm normally a darker brown than this. It kind of just turned this color from holiday. I did a poll on my Instagram, uh, to have short or long hair and short one by about two points so i'm still undecided but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i know it wasn't very you know professional this is just how i do my makeup most of my stuff is completely high street but i think you can get a really strong look with using just high street makeup that's my belief anyway yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye